Hi everyone, so if you've not seen already, Corsair are venturing into the custom water cooling market. Now this can be a very scary thing to try and do yourself, especially if it's your first time. So they're trying to make it incredibly easy. And one of the ways that they're doing that is by launching this new configurator. And what you can do is head to their website and go online and you can basically spec up your system in like a 3D kind of way. Now, uh, you can choose your language and stuff like that to be able to control your custom loop so you can do it from all over the world. There are a selection of cases. The ones at the bottom to start off with are just the featured ones. But what you can do is uh, you can put a different brand in, for example, and it brings a lot of them up. There's pretty much all the cases that you could possibly want on there but it does give you a lot of other options. The only thing I would say is when you do do another brand is when you do see it, it doesn't actually show a picture of it as you're building it. It comes up with a kind of generic frame. It actually looks like a 900D to me. But with the Corsair ones, and we're gonna use the 680X, what you can do is go in and build it in a, in a like, almost like a real-time kind of way, really. And you get all the um, colors that you can choose of the cases. But once you've chosen your case, you can then go in and choose motherboards. And again, there are many different um, options for the motherboards, different brands, lots of different boards. If, for example, you're trying to do an ITX case and uh, you're trying to put an ATX motherboard in there, it won't let you do that. It's relatively uh, well thought out and they've put a lot of time and effort into uh, getting the configuration set up as well. As you can see on the screen, there are lots of different options for you to be able to pick from and should be able to get you uh, as close as to your board as you know possible. And then you've got lots of different CPU options because if you've got different CPUs in there, um, it could lead to different amounts of heat and you might need more radiators. There's uh, lots of different uh, GPU options as well, both AMD and Nvidia, but then not only the OEM ones, there are a lot of uh, aftermarket brands in there. Um, I think it would be stru you'd struggle to find any of the um, GPUs within the last kind of like at least three to five years that aren't in this um, configurator. Definitely the last three years anyway. Most of the main bases are covered, which if you think about the amount of work that must have gone into being able to have get all of these set up to be able to cross check them with the the boards and then their graphics card blocks and all of that sort of thing. There has been a tremendous amount of work gone uh, into it. As you can see, again on the screen, we've done a couple of the uh, big brands, but you can see a lot of the smaller brands that are in there as well. So it's not just what I would say are the main three. We're going to uh, pick a few uh, Asus bits and bobs to go through this just because it's really easy. Um, and it's just one of the ones we, you know, we're going to make it relatively kind of like mainstream and not go for any quirky stuff. But you can see there that you can select between one and two graphics cards as well. And the screen pops up and you can see that we instantly have the case uh, there and it starts zooming you in onto everything. Now you do get options. So you can go between different um, CPU block options, you can go between different GPU block options as well. You can uh, visualize them in different ways as well, which makes things a lot easier, so you can see things a little bit better laid out. And then at the top left-hand corner, you can see stage one, stage two, and then sometimes you'll see stage three as well, and that's just different radiator configurations. Once you have worked your way through and chosen those, you get options with your fans. Now, yes, these ones here at the moment are the Corsair ones, but it's going to be assuming you're buying a Corsair water cooling kit. You can't, you know, they're not going to be selling you an, another different brand um, uh, uh, fans in there. Uh, reservoir wise, again, you can choose your coolant color, different types of hose. There's, you know, and then different fittings. So what it does at the end is it then kind of spits out a, uh, a list for you to be able to buy. And you can see it all lays it all out in the system for you. The, the, um, the radiators, your uh, blocks, your fittings, uh, whether you need a Commander Pro because of RGB fans. It even puts a filling bottle in there. The coolant is in there. We chose the red before. You can see the red reservoir kind of mounted in there. But the good thing about this was if you were to do this with a different case as well, 
So for argument's sake, maybe you were gonna choose a Cooler Master case, or let's say a Fractal case. Uh, they've put the work in so that you can actually see those as well. So uh, when you do get those, like I said, it is a, a, like a space frame. I think it's the Corsair 900D. That's just a holder, but it, um, the, the, the kit that you can put inside it will all be correct. And, uh, and then what you do right at the very, very end is it will spit out a list and a price for you. Now you can either buy this from the Corsair website itself, or you can print that off and you get given a little code as well. And you can take it into somewhere like Scan or OC UK if you're in the UK, or you know wherever else if you're in the states and they can put the kit together for you now you do still then have to build it yourself at home but there will be lots of guides uh, available online this was just a configurator video but if you um there will be dedicated uh guides put online for you to be able to work through with the hose and things like that the only thing that i would say personally is try and go for the tidiest possible loops and uh, don't overthink radiator radiator kind of scenarios go for something that looks nice and tidy also think about the color of your coolant when you're with the color of your fans if you're going to go down a multi-color route and try not to have everything the same color you don't want everything to be red and red leds if you were going to go red coolant let's say maybe think about white leds to then make the red coolant pop that little bit more rather than being bleached out by even more red LEDs. But that would just be a personal preference from my point, but it may be a little hint for you in the future going forward. So I hope you enjoyed this very quick explanation on this. I think Corsair have done a great job of trying to make water cooling user friendly. And uh, check back to the other videos on the channel if you would like to see how easy it is to fit their water cooling blocks. And then also eventually what one of these fully built rigs could look like.